this dig was really unusual because of the numbers of animals found. We've dug probably nine or ten other mastodon mammoth sites in Indiana. And in all but one site, there was one animal found. Usually on the site, after we get all the bones we can find, then we start stripping back to see if there are any more bone. And every time we did that, we kept finding bone. So the size, the spread of the site, and the number of individuals together make it highly unique for Indiana. So they're keeping them sprayed down with water? What we're recording here is not only the big animals, but all the other life that takes place uh, at the same time. We found uh, on the last day, actually, two cheek teeth and one lower incisor of the big gnawing tooth of a giant beaver, this Castoroides ohioensis. They're not that common, so we're very pleased to find that. And during the dig, we, we recovered two vertebrae and uh, part of the premaxilla, it's part of the, of the skull, uh, what sure looks like Cervalces, the stag moose. And these are big animal, like a moose, uh, much more complicated antlers. They were here before the modern moose arrived in North America. Real quick, come down so we can show you the teeth. Yeah. Look at those teeth, like jewels, Pearls. jewels from the earth. Of course, teeth are more dense and, and hard. They just preserve better than bone, which can disintegrate. And a tooth will stand out uh, very easily, like a mammoth or a mastodon tooth. The mastodon has uh, teeth with big cones on it for crushing vegetation, so it's a browser like a deer. Uh, the mammoth is a, is a grazer like a horse, and its teeth are made just for shearing vegetation and, and to find pulp. And there have been over 300 localities where mastodons have been found, uh, over 150 where mammoth have been found. And if we, we add the ones that we can't tell the difference because the sites were found years ago and they didn't record the good information, we probably got 500 dots on an Indiana map where some kind of a, an elephant-like creature have been found. We have a big story in Indiana that goes back thousands of years, and site by site, bit by bit, we and, and other specialists try to figure out basically what happened at each site. So that's why it's very important for our research to actually catch up with our field work, and, and it's not at this point. We have a lot of science still to do.